Hello there and welcome to SNMB Academy. In this presentation, I'll be showing you how to carry out basic factorization. Now, what is factorization? Factorization actually comes from the word factor. And factorizing is finding what to multiply to get an expression. So it's pretty much just playing with your timetables. So let's just say if I have a question as 4x plus 8. Now if I want to factorize it, what I'm having to look at is the common term within this expression. So what is basically multiply? Any number or any expression that multiplies to so give me this. So let's say within itself, I can have 4. Now the first expression I have is 4x. Now 4 times by what gives me 4? That's just 1. 4 times by what gives me x? Is, or 4x, sorry. It's just x. Plus will stay as it is. So that stays plus. And now 4 times by what gives me 8? And that is 2. So my term becomes 4 bracket x plus 2. So I don't have to write this one here. I can just write it like... 4x plus 2. So basically, if I have to, you know, expand this 4x plus 2, I should be getting 4x plus 8. So 4 times by x gives me 4x, and then 4 times by plus 2 gives me plus 8. So we are back at where we started. So this is just a normal basic factorization. So we're finding a, you know, basic factor that goes outside the bracket, which can multiply with everything inside the bracket, to give me a full expression as to what I started with. Now, let's try another one. Let's just say I have another one as 6y minus 21. Now again, now in this term, I'm looking at the first one, the 4 was inside my question. Now, over here, 6 doesn't go in 21. So I need to find another factor, which is, you know, another number, sorry, which is a factor of 6 and 21. So let's say we can have well, what we have is actually three now three goes in six and it goes in 21. now another expression so first expression we have is a number another one is the y now y isn't shared with the 21 so this y is not common so we cannot keep it outside the bracket so we'll put a bracket on now three multiply by what gives me six that's two and the y comes with it as well, it's because it's 6y, so there will be 2y minus stays minus, and 3 multiply by what gives me 21? That would be 7. So my factorized term would be 3 bracket 2y minus 7. So if I expand it, you know, I should be getting the same thing as to what I started with. So 3 multiplied by 2y gives me 6y, and then 3 multiplied by minus 7 gives me minus 21. Exactly the same thing. Let's just try a more trickier one. Say we have 9a plus 15b plus 21c. Now, again, pretty much the same thing. We look at the numbers. What factor goes in all these numbers? And that would be 3. A, B, C, they're all different terms. None of them are like terms. So we cannot keep it as a common factor. That cannot go outside the bracket. So we open up our bracket over there. Now, 3 times what gives me 9A. Let's just use another color. 9A. So 3 times 3 is 9, and A stays as A. Plus 3 times what gives me 15B. 3 times 5 is 15. B stays as it is. Plus... 3 times what gives me 21c. 3 times 7 is 21. C stays, C stays as it is. So that becomes my factorized term. Now let's just try a little bit more complicated ones. Now let's say I have 8t squared plus 12t. Now, the common one here, again, what we need to look at is the numbers first. 8 does not go in 12, or neither the other way around. So we need to find another number that's the factor of both of these numbers, 8 and 12. So let's say we have 4. Okay, so it's better to have the highest common factor. And uh, now looking at the term now, the, the, uh, the letter, sorry. So we have T here, 
and then we have t in this expression as well. So we got t in both the terms. So we can keep t as common outside this time. That squared, that's not a square, so we cannot square it, just the t. Now we open up the bracket. Four times of what gives me eight is two. And then four times, uh, sorry, t times of what gives me t squared. That is just t. So t multiplied by t gives me t squared. Now, plus will stay as it is, as plus. Now, looking at the next term, looking at 4 times by what gives me 12. That's 3. And t times what gives me t, that's just 1. So, we don't need to write the 1 there. We don't need to write anything. So, we just close the bracket. And there it is, a factorized way. And if you were to test it out, you can expand it and see for yourself. So, let's just say, uh, say well, I have one last one. So, 15x squared y minus 24xy now if you think you have you know learned it or you're confident that you can solve it then go ahead pause the video and solve this yourself so likewise again we look at the numbers first what's common between them 15 and 24 we have 3 as common x looking at x is x common here and it's here so we can keep x common as well the third term we look at is our y. y is common here and is present there. So y is also common. So you see slowly we stepped up and now we have each term we have common. Now, 3 times what gives me 15? That's 5. x times what gives me x squared? That's just x. y times what gives me y? That's just 1. You don't need to write that. Next term, minus. 3 times what gives me 24? That's 8 x times what gives me x, that's 1, I don't need to write that down. y times what gives me y, that's just 1, don't need to write that down. So that's it. So that would be 3xy is outside, bracket 5x minus 8. And you can again expand the bracket and test it out if that's correct. So that's basically what this factorization is. It's pretty much basic, just making sure that we have our factors outside the bracket. And that's pretty much it.